gonna start the motors here. We're gonna take some stales down because it happened again. Um, the line's not run properly uh, for the sail, uh, just because it needs to go through the boom and all the way back, it pulls the sail tight or loosens it. And so I had it tied off on the back of another line, it kind of chafed through, so it broke. So now the sail is loose. I don't know how hard it's gonna be. I need to run a line through the boom and uh, through the pulleys and all that to get it there. I don't know how hard that's gonna be to do. Um, I don't know if I can push a rope through there or not. I mean, you're the, like pushing a rope. So, uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, so the bottom of the main sheet here was supposed to be pulled back and it was tied off temporarily. And that line went uh, kind of chafed through and broke. It's a couple times it's happened now. But what's supposed to happen, in my opinion, with that line is it's supposed to run through a pulley here, through the boom, back to the mast, and back down into the cockpit where you can tighten it or loosen it depending on if you're going into the wind or against the wind. Into the wind you want it nice and tight because you want an airfoil shape. With the wind you want it kind of a little looser because you want it to balloon out and kind of act like a balloon and go downwind. Well uh, the problem is, is they don't have the proper tools to get a new line run through the boom back to the mast. So what I've done here is this is the, one of the reefing lines that goes all the way back to the mast. Um, and so I tied a line to it and I'm going to try and pull it through. I'm going to have some help maybe feeding it through uh, as well. Um, I don't know if she's willing to help or not. Nah. Am I being summoned? She's being summoned, yes. So uh, what we're going to do is feed this through and see how it works, see if we can get it through there. Anyway. Okay, so she's going to pull on the line. I'm gonna help feed the line through here so it doesn't get tangled up. And I've kind of got it marked here in my hand where I think uh, the line should be all the way through. So we had the other line attached to the reefing line and Megan pulled that through. At the other end, I made sure that the lines fed in easily. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be impossible. Well, no. the, pro the problem is I gotta run that line through here and then down through this pulley. These, uh, this other line goes up through another part and oh, it's gonna be incredibly difficult. I don't see. Well, so we have to pull that line out of here around this pulley, down through that pulley and out that way. But the problem is you gotta separate it from that line and pull it down and that's gonna be the hard part. See, we gotta go outside this channel and into the other channel. Um, So why not try the old coat hanger trick? It feeds into the top. Maybe if I use the coat hanger a slightly different way. Uh. Okay, I got it. I can push a slightly stiff coax cable through, right? I don't even know what we were trying here at this point, okay. but it made sense at the time. I'm not, I'm not holding it. I'm just. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. That only took like. Did you do it? It took me an hour. I mean, like, I had to run all sorts of cabling. It took me an hour. So. Wow. And you really didn't think you could do it at one point. No. I thought we were done, but uh, it took a lot of time and a lot of effort. Oh so wait, what, what was the what was the final solution? I put this little skinny rope with a weight on it up through this pulley and was able to with a with a with another piece of wire grab it and pull it back through. Then I attached another wire and went up through the other pulley and then reattached this line to the black line and then had you pull the black line back that way and then once it was back through it pulled it back through down so Bob hi Bob the man who can fix anything look how much crap was sitting in that boom I mean there's so much like weeds where did they come from I don't know who knows the rough seas yeah <laughs> not the rough seas but the rough seas 
<laughs> Megan, get your little feet out of the shot. <laughs> Do you know how many people you, like that? You I know, that's why that. I said get them out. <laughs> you want that? <laughs> Not I'm awkward. <laughs> we got the right wind, and the tides here swing you 180 against the wind, so right now we got the right wind. I'm gonna raise the mainsail because like back here some of these lines can get a little confusing as far as which one's the reefing and which one's what's supposed to be on which side of the sail. So I'm gonna raise the mainsail so that none of the lines get confused and then I'll attach that line which we just ran through to the back of the mainsail and it should fix our problem. Oh. Well, it looks like Bob is on the boom in yeah. the mainsail. Oh, come on. Trying to swing this rope around, or the line around. Oh, you almost have it. Okay, there you go. All right, pull in. Okay, so now this is probably tighter than this thing has been in a very long time because before it was tied on, just tied hand tight to one of these. You can see where it pulled this one out. Obviously, it's not good. Uh, so I ran the line properly through the back, uh, through the boom, and, and uh, should be a lot more efficient at sail now. Um, a lot tighter sail. It, it really helps. So uh, that was a huge pain in the butt. But at least I have a good. Uh, place to do it in. I mean, look at this. Thanks for watching another episode of Maintenance Monday with the Sailing Doodles. Please click like and subscribe and visit our website sailingdoodles.com. This video channel is funded by viewers like you.